today we are drawing marine invertebrate dinosaur fish neon lantern inspired creatures yay in last week's video i went to edinburgh zoo and looked at these amazing prehistoric lanterns which were just incredible and inspiring it was amazing and this week I am doing a Poshka Pen illustration of some prehistoric marine life because going round this Edinburgh Zoo exhibit was really really awesome but there wasn't a ton of marine life which I was kind of shocked about because it was talking about like the evolution of the lost world and for a very very long time in fact for well, I just tried to do the maths and uh, it's too complicated for me, but basically the first life on Earth was 3.77 billion years ago. And from 3.77 billion years up until 530 million years ago, every single creature that was found on our planet was a invertebrate. They were in the sea up until that point and i think that that deserves a bit more focus and and drawing um of this video but i then well and also i don't really know too much about prehistoric marine life it's not something that i've ever really looked into that much and when i started to look into it um, a little bit there isn't a ton of information readily available which again kind of shocked me because lots of people there's lots of information about dinosaurs but i suppose they're it's difficult to preserve to know about creatures that don't have bones and fossils to be preserved but the creature that i'm drawing here um is actually something that really sweet called a sea uh, lily that um has a really cool fossil that was um found and so there's been lots of drawings of these type of sea lilies um, in kind of recreations of what um, people thought it would look like back then and the reason I'm using Poshka pens in such funky colours is because it's kind of inspired by the lanterns I mean I don't suppose anyone knows exactly what the colour of these creatures would have been back then I do doubt they were the colours that I've picked but why not go for something fun now this guy that I'm drawing here is a trilobite and they pop up quite a bit because trilobites are awesome and famous and actually they were around um, on our planet for 250 million years. So you could always trust looking at prehistoric things to really, really put your life and uh, the life of humans in perspective. If trilobites were around for that long, we have been around for 200,000 years and they have been around for millions and millions and millions and millions, say that 250 times, that long. And, uh, and they're not around anymore for us to see. They were kind of the early predecessors of um, insects, wood lice and crabs. So you have uh, trilobites to thank for uh, um, the wonderful world of crabs, which I definitely love, and also insects and woodlice, which are, are really cool. But uh, uh, yeah, it's just a reminder that all these amazing creatures have kind of graced our planet and they're just not around anymore. So I got my main inspiration for drawing all of these off of Pinterest images of people that had kind of done recreations of of the creatures they thought they lived in that time. A lot of them looked like they come from um, like textbooks and things like that. Um, and they were really cool to look at. And this guy, which is an ancient sea scorpion, stood out and was in quite a few of the drawings. And I think that's probably because it's quite a cool creature and and almost quite cute they have these in all of the illustrations they're drawn with these giant big eyes and these giant sea scorpions could actually um have well actually grew to the size of a large human man so i know a lot of people are uh, scared of sharks in the sea but i think this guy would give 
um, scary sharks are run for his money. But then again, I suppose sharks were a lot bigger back in prehistoric times too. So, um, yeah. These yellow tubes here are actually uh, sponges. Uh, bright yellow, of course, to uh, honour our uh, favourite square sponge friend. But I definitely needed to put them in there because sponges are thought to be the first animal to ever appear on Earth. So they definitely needed uh, to be part of this illustration. But uh, having a look at the Pinterest images too, a lot of anemones and a lot of things like sea fans and kind of hydroidy type things definitely deserve uh, to be there. There definitely would have been um, lots of their ancestors I imagine dotted throughout prehistoric marine invertebrate history and again gives me some chance to use some funky colours. There seem to be lots of creatures with some very very funky shells back in prehistoric times including um, well I suppose amniotes which are basically a, the, the famous fossil the spiral shells that you can um, find fossiling or, or bias fossils but actually inside those shells that are left as the fossil or something similar to a squid or an octopus um, a kind of cephalopod creature that lived inside or a cephalopod type creature that lived inside the shell and the closest thing to uh, Amnite is the, is the Nautilus which is pretty much a living fossil and hasn't changed for f pretty much 400 million years. Just take a second to try and fit that in your brain 400 million years. I know humans are absolutely terrible at having a time frame in their mind more than you know a couple of years but four hundred million years this creature has been able to survive and not needed to change million years so if you are a stubborn person who doesn't think they need to change and is successful in doing so then you can definitely put your spirit animal being down to a, a, a nautilus because that is a very very impressive feat from our spiraled shelled friend so this has been a interesting little dive and delve into the world of marine um, invertebrates of the prehistoric lost world inspired by the lanterns i will have to say i was so impressed at all the little kids that were at this lantern display and were correcting their parents on exactly what dinosaur everything was and how they knew dinosaurs so much better so I mean potentially you could have learnt more um, by asking um, a kid but it inspired me to learn more and more about the creatures the marine invertebrates that I love so much and the creatures that they they kind of came from and I really enjoyed just colouring in with these funky Bosco pens on black paper which if no one has had the chance to do that yet I, it's just it's just so much fun and the perfect way to spend a few hours and learn some new information so if uh, you like this kind of content if you like looking at marine type of art or you want to learn about the current living marine invertebrates you can find on your rocky shores then be sure to subscribe and follow me and let me know in the comments below exactly what your favourite prehistoric creature is. Don't worry, I won't be too offended if it's not a marine invertebrate, but extra points if it is. I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you next Wednesday with another scientific art or exploratory um, educational video about marine life. Have a great week until then. Bye guys.